Now, a study has shown that people who have a certain gene inherited from Neanderthals are more likely to suffer severe forms of COVID-19. Scientists from Sweden and Germany have found that after a person's age, possessing the gene was the biggest risk factor for coronavirus, with far greater likelihood of hospitalization and being placed on a ventilator. Well, Professor Svante Pabo is a director of the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany. He's led this study and earlier he explained what the Neanderthal gene is all about. Neanderthals it were this extinct form of humans that existed in Western Asia and Europe until about 40,000 years ago when they became extinct. And when modern humans evolved in Africa and then came out of Africa, they met Neanderthals and one had babies together and those babies contributed to the ancestry of everybody outside Africa today. So if your genetic roots are outside Africa, one or two percent or so of your DNA comes from Neanderthals. So does that mean that the, the people with that gene, then they suffer much, much well, they, they experience COVID-19 in a worse way? Just explain to us how that works. Yes, yeah, so what one found in June this year was that there was on chromosome three, there is this region that influences strongly how likely you are to become severely ill if you're infected with the coronavirus. And what we then found by comparing people's DNA at that part of the genome with the Neanderthal genome is that the risk variant there comes from Neanderthals. So if you happen to carry a Neanderthal variant on chromosome three in this region, you're more likely to become severely ill. So if we compare it, for example, to your age, if you have one copy, Neanderthal-like copy from one of your parents, it is as if you were about 10 years older in terms of risk of becoming severely ill. If you have two copies, it's as if you were 20 years older. So how many people carry this Neanderthal, Neanderthal gene? Well, strikingly, it, it varies across the world quite a lot. It is very low in Africa because Neanderthals had never been there. If you look outside Africa, it's particularly high in South Asia. So for example, in India or in Bangladesh, about one person in six, in two, one person in two will carry at least one copy of this. In Europe, about one person in six is a carrier. And in East Asia, in China or Japan, it's almost absent. So that hints that this Neanderthal genes have had some role in the past and have risen to frequency somewhere because they were good in South Asia and have been selected against and disappeared in other parts of the world. So they have presumably had other roles, perhaps in other epidemics and pandemics in the past.